In this video, I'll be talking to you guys about your wrist movement with the driver versus an iron. So I have my trusty hack motion sensor here that I'll be using to give you the most detail possible on how my wrists are moving in degrees. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these hack motion devices, I will leave a link to the website down below as well as my discount code. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, subscribe to the channel because it really helps me to create more content like this for you guys. Now let's get started. Okay, so to start the explanation, explanation off, um, the easiest way to do this is to hit some shots with my seven iron um, and then using the, the data from the hack motion, I'll leave the screen somewhere over here. Um, I'll kind of compare how my wrists move with my seven iron with my driver. So I'll hit a few shots first with seven iron and just to kind of maybe explain why my wrists are moving that way and the ideas that most people think about. Okay, the hack motion obviously says that at address, um, I'm obviously a little bit extended or cupped in that lead wrist um, just because of the way I'm gripping it at the start. Um, and obviously when I get to the top, I, for me personally, I'm, I'm adding more extension. Don't focus on kind of what the position sh should be exactly at the top. The main idea here is that most people think that from the top coming down, that your wrist should get into more of a flexed position, which it should, okay? So most people have this idea that it's different when you're hitting a driver, okay? So I'll hit one more, just to show you guys that I'll have pretty much the same pattern again. Okay, yeah, pretty much exactly the same. I go from a more extended position at the top of my lead wrist um, to a more uh, flex position at impact, okay? So let me hit a few drivers now and then we'll kind of see what the differences are. So I've got a driver here and I'm gonna hit the best I can with this driver. Let's see what my numbers are like. I don't suspect it'll be very different, okay? But there might be some differences um, only because obviously the ball's not on the ground anymore. Uh, the ball position's different. My body's bending a little bit differently, but I'll explain those soon after. All right, so with the driver here, you can kind of see it's the exact same. I'm not really changing much, right? It does start at address from a more extended position because I'm holding it the same. My grip is exactly the same. Um, I get to the top pretty much the same, and you can see pretty much the same difference or the same amount of flex that changes in my wrist at impact, okay? So that's the biggest thing I want to highlight to you guys is that there shouldn't be a difference at all, okay? So like with an iron, right? Obviously your ball position might be different, things like that. You're trying to hit it more downwards, okay? But with a driver, you're still gonna be hitting the same way, but you're not trying to hit downwards on it anymore, okay? So with a driver, typically the ball position's more forward, right? You have a wider stance. That's gonna place your head position further to the right or further behind the golf ball. So that by the time I get to impact, right? my release point or where I get my longest point is different, okay? But my wrists are moving the same, exactly the same way, all right? Just my body is moving differently. So that's the main thing I wanna to highlight to you guys is that the, the wrist should be the same. If the wrists will be, are different with like driver versus iron versus hybrid or wood, this game would be way too complicated. It should be kind of one swing, um, everything goes the same, just setup changes are different maybe slight changes in how the body bends um, and things like that. I wanna explain what actually matters the most, okay, between the iron and the driver as to why the, the, the wrists are the same. With an iron, we know that the ball position should typically be a little bit left of center. And the biggest difference here is just where the longest point forms, okay? So with an iron, we know that when you hit the golf ball, the shaft is leaning a bit forward and then the, the radius or the longest point forms maybe just after the golf ball, okay? You can see my left arm, my lead arm, and the shaft is in a straight line. When I grab a driver, the ball position will be typically more forward in the stance, okay? Pretty much um, in line with my lead shoulder after I've kind of changed my posture a little bit. My head's a little bit more tilted to the right. My stance is wider, okay? And the reason why the ball's in line with the lead shoulder is because we don't want to hit the golf ball with shaft, like a lot of shaft lean, okay? Because you don't want it to hit down on it. 
So we don't want to see that the, the longest point forms too far ahead of the golf ball with the driver. We want the, the longest point to form more so right at the ball when you're hitting driver. So it's more a, a, a change in where the longest point forms rather than how the wrist bends through it. Most people want to kind of purposely hit up on it so they kind of try to add more extension or they kind of flip their wrists a bit more, but you don't have to do that, okay? It's more so um, how, to, how to change your setup and how your body is kind of bending. So with an iron, you're kind of turning what more with your head pretty much against the ball line, okay? You're kind of moving forward. Um, the shaft is leaning forward, you're hitting down, right? Driver, since you're set up more kind of behind it, everything kind of turns and your upper body stays more to the right of the ball because that's where your head was originally, okay? And when, when you strike it, you're typically be more behind it, okay? So you're controlling how much you're hitting downwards on the golf ball by controlling where your head is positioned uh, relative to the ball. So if I stay behind it more, and I get my radius to form at the ball, okay, then that would technically mean that I'm not hitting down on it. I'm hitting more or swinging more level to the ground. And a lot of people think that you have to swing like really, really up on the golf ball, which, which you don't, okay? So you, you only have to swing like pretty much very level, maybe just a couple degrees up on the driver. You don't have to swing it, you know, 10 degrees or 20 degrees up on it. That's not what you wanna do. If you do that, you'll also have some issues that you don't want. If the biggest difference is only about where the longest point forms, the wrist should be moving the same, right? For both the irons and the driver. So if I'm hitting more downwards on it, I'm, I'm gonna be swinging the same way, but my radius is forming a bit later. With the driver, again, I'm swinging the same way, maybe set up some, some setup changes, maybe my head's further behind the golf ball, but my radius, the longest point, is forming in a different position. But my, that doesn't mean that my wrists are, are moving differently. If you are a player that ha has always been thinking that you know you have to like flip your wrist more to, to swing upwards on it, um, on the screen you can kind of you'll still see my wrist data on the hack motion sensor. So on this driver, I'm going to purposely try um, to have that idea in my mind to try to flip the wrist really hard um, to try and hit more upwards on it. Um, but I want you to, to compare, I'll, I'll pull up on the screen afterwards, my slow motion driver footage um, doing it correctly versus the one I'm just gonna hit now, um, kind of adding more extension, and you'll see a difference in where that longest point forms, okay? And then that's gonna make, cause all sorts of trouble in terms of where you strike the ground potentially, um, how much loft you're adding to the club, kind of where you're pointing the face potentially as well, okay? So this one, I'm gonna try to hit more up on it just by like, extending my, my lead wrist a lot. <laughs> so I, I really did it there a lot. Okay, so to me, I felt like I did a lot. And you can see at impact, I, st I still, funny enough, I still went from an extended position to a more flex position, but I, to me, I really felt like I was like this um, at impact. Okay, so if you look at the two footages, you can kind of see like, when I try to extend my wrist or like flip my wrist really early to, to try and hit it up higher, my longest point forms much, much sooner in my downswing, okay? So if, if that happens, I really have to extend my wrist a lot. Otherwise, I could potentially hit the ground first, okay? You can kind of see if my longest point, point forms like early, that's where the, the club is gonna touch the ground unless I do something to shorten out this this radius out, and that's gonna come in the form of me adding more extension. So you can see when I, I, I'm coming closer into impact, it, the more extension I add, that makes the longest point shorter. So that's what's gonna allow me, me, me to miss the ground just enough, but I'm gonna have all sorts of problems with contact and, and things like that. So instead of changing what you do with the wrists, make sure that you just, make sure you have a good setup position, make sure your head's kind of staying behind the golf ball. You still want to have that radius form more so at the golf ball instead of afterwards with a driver. Okay, so just remember guys that it's, the wrist should be moving the same. The only difference is your setup and how your body is kind of bending. And also number three, where the radius forms at impact. So if we pull up my slow motion driver swing 
and my slow motion iron swing again. If we take a look at the impact position, you can see that my wrists are kind of in a fairly similar position, right? There's not one is, is more flexed or a kind of more extended, but with my seven iron, when the radius forms just after the golf ball, my, my wrists are pretty much the same, but you can really see that my body with the driver is a lot more kind of behind the golf ball. My right shoulder is kind of much lower. My hip is still forward, but I'm kind of extending and, and things like that a lot, a lot faster of a rate and a lot earlier uh, before I get to impact. With an iron, you can see that my weight is a lot more kind of forward, okay? My body in general is a lot more forward because I'm trying to hit more downwards on it. Okay, but my wrist, when my lead arm and the shaft is in, in a straight line, is pretty much in the same position. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. I know it's a bit of a, more of a general explanation, but I just wanted to point out that the wrists don't move any differently when you hit a driver versus an iron. So if you guys want me to maybe make another video uh, in a bit more detail about what the differences are um, body position wise with the driver and the irons, please let me know also in the comment section. But uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss. See you guys next time.